No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today I'm here with OT motherfucking Genesis. Yeah. How you doing, man? Man, I'm solid, bro. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, I've always been fascinated by you, because you got these huge fucking records, and you're from L.A., Yeah. and normally L.A. is very, very quick to claim their success stories, Yeah. but you've always kind of like existed in a different sphere where people don't necessarily like relate you to LA whereas like most rappers who pop off out of LA that's like a big part of what they're talking about and shit right 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 you see shit with me it was like um like like when I first like when my shit first popped off it like really like like it was buzzing around here and shit but when it really popped off it was like New York and Atlanta and Miami and it was like shit that's when the shit went crazy and shit so um and then I already sounded different mm. so like just me sounding different like I knew what people would have tied me to, cause it's already people like, man, you don't sound like you West, Coast. like you don't sound like you know what I mean, cause of my sound and shit like that. But it's like you don't sound like a West Coast. You don't sound I'm like, nah. If I say that West Coast shit, they gonna put me in a box. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait. You know what I'm saying? So I waited. I never said nothing, and so I waited till my shit like took off. After that, it was too late. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But okay, so like, what was what was your upbringing like? We got we got to do a little bit of that talk. Long Beach, California. I'm from the north. Really? Yeah. I got a 562 uh, number. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> I lived out there for like seven years, when, or not seven years, but like a couple of years when I first moved here. Oh, shit. Like 2010. Got a 562. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were on the east side, though. Are you on the east? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was on the east. So, so you grew up out in Long Beach. Okay. So what, what was your upbringing like, though? What were your parents uh, getting you into? What was the house you grew up in like? I mean, I mean... You know, I had a I had a cool household, man. It's like, you know, most households, man. Like, like even with the kids nowadays, whatever you doing, niggas is in the streets, so you gang banging. Usually, your parents ain't, you know, they really ain't with that. You know what I mean? They really don't want you doing all none of that shit. Some people, I mean, some do, but for for the most part, man, my like my mom and my daddy was cool, man. They always was cool. You know what I mean? Try to have. You know, having it going to going to, going to school and all kind of shit like that, and you know, doing the right thing. But you know, it's just you know my homies and you know the people that surround me. You know what I mean? Being a follower, and these is my friends. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? I see my friends doing shit. I'm doing shit. You know what I mean? Because these is my these is my homies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, for the most part, with like with my like my parents and shit like that, like they was always cool. But I just was always just like a street nigga. So you were just running around. Were yeah, you getting, I was just running around. Were you getting in trouble me. early? Early, probably like, you know, I went to like maybe like shit from like middle school. Like my shit really started when I was like maybe like thirteen, four, not fourteen. Fourteen is when you start really like figuring shit. Like you like figuring shit out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I started going bad around thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. That's when you really start getting in trouble. And shit. Yeah, that's when you start getting in trouble and doing all that. So that's when it was like, that's like my boy was like fourteen. That's when I went to like. They got a they got a, like a Jew in the hall out there called uh, LP. It's Los Padrinos uh -huh. and everything like that. That was that time like stealing cars and doing all kind of shit. Like you you just young trying to like young trying to figure shit out, doing shit, following. Right. You know what I'm saying? Los Padrinos and then Central. You know what I mean? Then they got the other the other uh, they got the other uh, jails, the Central. You know what I mean? That's the other one. It was more towards LA. That one's like Los Padrinos is more towards Long Beach, but it's like in Paramount. You know what I'm saying? So moving forward from there to there and you know what I mean? And later on, you know what I mean, graduated to the county. But, you know, that's just young shit. Were you born into being a Crip or you make a decision at some point? All my homies was Crips. Right. So it's like you in Long Beach. Whole city. No bloods in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, there's no bloods in Long they Beach. Everybody from Long Beach loves to remind you that. <laughs> 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 I did a video with uh, Stupid Young and all the Asian boys out there. And they yeah. just kept reminding me like, you know there ain't no bloods in Long Beach, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, that's, you know, that's so, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. you know, your everyday, you know, your, that's how y'all talk. Everybody got the same slang. Everybody got the same lingo. Cause shit, you mm. know, it's a, that's, that's all it is. It's a Crip City. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so how do you uh, get interested in music? When did that become something? Man, shit, man. Um, I started getting the music around that, probably around the same around the same time, you know what I'm saying? We, well, of course, we ain't have, like, the fucking platforms that everybody got right now, you know what I'm saying? And, like, y'all and shit like that, and, like, we ain't had that shit, so 
it was about like really like trying to figure that shit out. And so um wasn't no young rappers, wasn't no you know what I mean? Niggas wasn't lit like that, right? Like the kids is right now. Like people forget that fire. They, it's kinda like a new thing for yeah. a young rapper to be able to get hot on their own. Yeah. For forever you like needed a cosign yeah. or, or something. I really think Chief Keith was kinda like the first one he, that broke he, yeah. through without any major label help yep. in a different way. Yep. I I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that a hundred percent. Um it wasn't none of that. So you was getting, you was trying to get on. Wasn't no Instagram. Can you imagine if a nigga had Instagram in high school? Yeah. I be, I be thinking about some of the shit now that these kids got. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't none of that. Um, so I was like, I was um I was making music and all that, but I would have to do like like the way you had to get noticed for, you know, for some of the kids I don't know now, like you had to like try to like you gotta like try to get your buzz going. So I had to like do like little talent shows and yeah. shit like that and sell tickets for like ten dollars and make sure that everybody comes. So really when you get the show, it's really like a bunch of your homies and shit <laughs> like that. So it was every so it's my homies and then it's they homies, like they probably gotta sell thirty tickets. They gotta sell thirty tickets. Whoever sell the most tickets end up being the headliner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now so now that's how they built like everybody used to build an audience and everybody used to go do a show. So now the show packed out because everybody done sold their fucking tickets. You know what I'm saying? And then you keep doing that, keep doing that. And then um people start realizing who you is listening to your music or whatever. Now you got your CDs. Like the shit was hard. You know what I mean? Trying to figure this shit out. But then later on, like um after I got out of high school and everything started taking shit even more serious. And that's when I was like going to like the clubs and all kind of shit like that. And I'm like, let me try to figure this shit out. So I was doing like free shows at the clubs just so like when I had my song, it was hot. I was doing shows for free just so I could get noticed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I knew like like I knew my song was like I had a song that was popping just in the streets, but then I had to like run around the hottest clubs just so I could like get noticed. You know what I'm saying? And people that come from out of town, if that's if that club popping that night and it's like all star weekend, some shit like that, I make sure I go over there and go perform for free just so I could go. You know what I mean? Just right. so I could get noticed like it's like a level of like networking that the a young artist now doesn't really have to go through yeah, because man. they just they they get into position early on. Boy, they got it good right now, <laughs> boy. Shit, I said, boy, man. Imagine I had all this shit. We would have got in too much trouble, though. Right. Like, but what, what was your personality? Were you were you just the type of person who was like actually motivated enough to really grind and to really go network and do all this stuff in the club? Because a lot of people yeah. don't have that mentality to want to make a a short term sacrifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was all it was it was always like that. It was sometimes like, man, I have man. I went to the auction. Man, I bought me a car for like a hundred and like a hundred and seventy five dollars. Mm. I don't know if you know where the fuck a Pujo is. It was like a mm. pool a, a pool. A poop, poop, some shit. It ain't had no reverse or nothing. The shit didn't have no reverse. I couldn't reverse my car. Right. I didn't even noticed the shit. I didn't even notice like I couldn't reverse it until I saw a fucking um it was on a windshield and like chalk. The shit said no reverse. I still bought the motherfucker. <laughs> I go I used to go to parties and shit like that, park at the edge, edge of the uh edge of the curb, so I could so I could roll out because I can't reverse. Right. So I'd be make sure I park at the end of the corner. Mm. Shit like that. Like and then I like um you know, I get in the taxi, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I ain't got no car, get in the taxi, go to the club, boom, 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 boom. I go around the corner because I'm supposed to be a nigga that's hot. Uh -huh. And the bitches are like, oh, you got a song that's going on. So I don't want to be seen like that. Perception is everything. Right. I don't want to be seen. Like I go around the corner, catch a taxi, jump in the taxi, boom, take my ass home. <laughs> like grinding. Yeah. Trying like, try to figure that shit out, man. Just anything you could do. Anything. So do you, what, when did your music really start to like make any kind of impact? When did, when did you feel it starting to actually work? When that fucking Coco shit came out, really? When, and because I remember there was a there was a New Year's where I was drunk as shit in the club, yeah. and the, they felt the need to play it like five times, <laughs> like as the ball dropped. And that will always. It, I guess I, I I knew about the song and I, I fuck with the song yeah. and everything, but that was when I really started to think like, God damn, this is a popular fucking song. Yeah, right here. man. What, yeah. what year was that? Man, this was two thousand. I would say I, I dropped it in like November. November. Mm. So it was 2000, I want to say 14, some mm. shit like that. I want to say 14. So I dropped that shit in November. So it went to like 2015, January, and that shit was just on fire. I was doing like shows here and in Europe at the same time. Like, you know, usually, you know, around that time it was like, you know, you, your song will start popping and then after a while and then after that, they'll, you know, they'll take you overseas. And I was over there. I was getting booked overseas. I was out there for like 
three, four months really? coming here. Then I was like, I was booked like really like four, maybe nah, nah, I'm not, I'm lying, like six, six, like six nights a week. Mm. And then if I go to like a city, like so let's say if I go to like New York, mm -hmm. I'm in New York for like three weeks and I'm doing every six, cause nobody, you gotta book me like three months ahead. Mm. You know what I mean? So everybody was like, I ain't seen nobody that booked. Was that song number one? And I don't even think, no, it wasn't. It didn't, okay. It even wasn't, a, and it was because of, I really think it was because of what I was talking about. Uh, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> that makes sense, so, yeah. so a lot of the times you couldn't like, it was so huge, the song is so huge. And it's like, you can't even, like I could, could, because I was talking about what I was talking about, it was like, man, you was, I was banned from, not banned, but like, you know, song the song was banned from a lot of stuff too right you know what i mean but what, it was that huge what was the mentality when you were making that song man you know what i was um i made them and i was in the studio like um it's just on some creative shit you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying just being real creative um i was in the studio and i fell asleep i was like drunk passed out fell asleep woke up and it was like um 12 o'clock in the afternoon like on a saturday and i was just still in the studio by myself and I was going through beats and turned that shit on. And it's just like, I see a lot of artists and everything going on like on YouTube and stuff now, like listening to beats and everything like that. But that's where I was at. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. I ain't had no beats. So I was like, let me just go through some beats. Found him right there. Dude was like, maybe like, I think he was like 15 years old. The, the, the producer? The, yeah, the, the producer who, who produced it at the time, um, Juice. And so um, I came up with the hook. I came up with the hook. Um, I had the melody, I had the melody of like how I wanted to do the verses, but I wasn't sure, so I just had to put the words together. I was like, let me give my give myself time, give myself a day, and so I recorded it the next day, bro. When I say I dropped this record, bro, I, bro maybe in like in like two weeks, my life just changed completely. Really, like two weeks gone. Were you broke when you made that record, or were you just not doing so great? Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't doing so. Great. I wouldn't say I was. Broke. I was. I just wasn't doing as good. Right. Like, but that shit changed, bro. Was it an immediate thing where you put it out and you just saw the numbers going way crazier than anything you yeah. ever put out before? Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I um, I had to. I think I had to do like a show. My first show was like New York at SOBs or some shit like that. Mm. And I I went there, and bro, when I say everybody was going crazy, people was stopping me. I was going to Miami. Everybody stopped me, blowing their horns. Every I'm like, what the. Fuck? <laughs> This shit crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? My shit just completely changed, bro. Is it weird to make a song that sort of inadvertently becomes like a cocaine use anthem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's definitely people who like are actually addicted to cocaine yeah, that are just yeah. like, yes, this is the song. <laughs> but you know what? You know what's so crazy? I said, I was saying this when I was on um when I was making my runs, like I was doing a crazy like Coco tour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was um I said, man, if I ever like if I ever get in some fucked up shit, like, and 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 if I don't ever make no music again, I met a whole lot of plugs. I kept everybody number. <laughs> I kept everybody number. Right. That's <laughs> like a good point. Everybody number. It was so much. Like, like, so, like so many people from different mafias, from different like. I met a lot of plugs mm. on like the on that run. Everybody letting me showing me they shit, showing me the kind of work they got. It was crazy. I don't. Like I had to do uh some I had to do a party for a cartel once. Really? Like that in shit Mexico? was crazy. In Mexico. No, here. Oh wow. In LA. And I walked in there, I was like, oh shit, it's lit. Everybody got some burros on. I was like, I was like on some shit. It was it was the shit. Right. And I was sitting there like, oh yeah, it's lit in here. You know what I mean? Nobody smiling, nobody <laughs> laughing. Everybody just like hit perform. They got that bag too. Right. I came here, then they showing me the work they got and everything like that. Like you know, come fuck with us. I'm just like, damn, I met a lot of plugs, bro, from everywhere, all over, like, all over the world. You ever done cocaine? I said, oh, yeah, of course. Because <laughs> I feel I like saying, that song is like, yeah, yeah. largely about selling it, though, right? Was yeah, that, like, yeah, the yeah, intent? Yeah, yeah, that's right, what it, okay. that, 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 you know, but sure, at the okay. end of the day, yeah, that's what it's about. It <laughs> right, ain't about yeah. doing it. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, you know what I mean? It went from a part to where, you know, where you had to taste it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where you start tasting it and not, you know, not but using it. You haven't done like a lot at any no, point in your no, life? No, you just, you no. just did a tiny little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Were yeah, yeah. you ever heavy in the in the drugs selling game, like earlier in your life? Um, Heavy, I would say heavy, well, heavier when I when I start making more money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, you know what I mean. In terms of selling drugs, yeah. You you when you you mean when you started making more money, you were like fuck it, and you just started selling drugs. Yeah. I thought you like I'm talking about from the music making money. That's how I'm taking it. Oh, 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 now, oh, like, oh, oh. <laughs> like you, you had a hit record and you decided like fuck it, man. I'm good. I'm gonna be really in the streets. I'm gonna be a kingpin. But people yeah. do that. It's a, I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of ideas you get, man. Because yeah. you start saying, damn, I could buy. Right. Damn, I could. Okay, what's it? What is it? What, how much is it going up now? Bird going for like 30, 32. Really? 32 right now. So it's like back then, that shit was like 15, 17, 18. You get something with 21. Mm. You know what I mean? Back then in the days, then, you know, nowadays it's like 30, 32. You start thinking to yourself like, damn, I could buy a whole lot of work with this. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And make more money. But, you know. Yeah. No, I've definitely thought about that before too, that like, you know, before everything started going better for me, that we would like ship pounds of weed out. Yeah. And, but we had the problem that we didn't really know that many people. Yeah. And I think about it now. I'm like, God, I know so many people that would want to do that if I wanted to like go back in time and like regress yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. luckily, that's that's not the situation. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know what what was your inclination like what direction did you go in music wise earlier in your career because it sounds like you know a lot of people from the west coast from la they tend to get into a certain style of music and, and you sort of rejected that or like what what do you think it was about your music early on that that went in a different direction um because i um really i was like i always wanted to like talk for like you know the dope boys and niggas getting money and you know what I mean and hustling and like I always wanted to you know speak for them you know mm -hmm. what I mean but then at the same time I was so creative you know what I mean so I was like it was different things I wanted to like I wanted to I ain't want to just be that I wanted to show people I was creative too while doing that so when I make some shit like cut it and I you know what I mean and I make that and I'm like you know I was like uh when I said your bricks is way too high you need to cut it then I said no I can't just keep saying that your price if I say your price is that mean that you could use this you know what I mean you could use this song in a different kind of way I think that you know that kind of made the song the yeah. way you're switching it back yeah and forth by there. switching yeah. it yeah 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 you know what I mean so I'm like I gotta switch it because if I just say that it's gonna sound crazy but if I say your price is way too high you need to cut it mm -hmm. then you could use that you know what I mean you could use that any kind of way you want to use it so right. I was like just being creative man after you had a song like Coco is it like pressure in your brain like i need to have another big ass hit man yeah that, but that's only because a lot of people kept telling me that shit. can you do it again yeah a lot of like, people start wondering like, right? so what's next so you know you got to make one bigger than the other one uh -huh. so you know you got i'm like what you know i i, I ain't really understand it but then um when I came up, when I came up with the the, the 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 rest of the records, I was like, man, I just gotta be original, man, and be cool, man. Just just do what I do, mm. cause you start, you make a song, and then everybody will hold you to that song, and just and be, be because the record is so big, and and uh, because you don't hear me just rapping and I'm going bar for bar doing no shit like that. First thing you think is one hit wonder. I would have thought that too, mm. if I me hearing myself. I would have probably thought he was the one who I wouldn't have thought deep into it, but I probably would have been like, "Oh, that's he made a big ass record. He's probably done because you know." But if you, but nobody knew who I was. Did cut it was cut it sort of you thinking about making a hit, or was that just like any other song and it just happened to no, go crazy? No, I was I was um I was chilling. What I was is I had this uh I had this mixtape I did. It was called Rhythm and Bricks. It was like. It was like I was doing a whole bunch of melodic shit, and I was doing a bunch of street shit. Uh -huh. So I, put, I named it R and B, like rhythm and bricks, and shit like that. So I gave it to like uh, the DJ at the time. He was, he was DJ Drummer, mm. and he was like, um, he was like, yo, OT. He was like, man, it's too much rhythm on here. It's not enough bricks. Man, you gotta keep talking that street shit. I was like, all right, cool. So I went to the studio. He was like, send me two songs, and I recorded two songs, and it was cut it, and it was uh, push it. I did both of them, just talking about. It. Shit. Right. So that shit just came eff like with no effort. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Uh do you, do you ever feel some type of way when somebody gets on your, one of your beats? Uh nah. Hell no. Shy Glizzy's remix of Cut It to me <laughs> that was like on. pretty epic. Like I don't know why, but I ended up listening to it, possibly more than the original. To be right, honest. right, right. And now and um shout out to Shy Glizzy too. When I um I think I think another thing that made it like Dope, cause I think he got in an incident or some shit like that. I guess he tried to rob him or some some right. some shit happened. Some shit I don't know. I don't really know. Yeah. But um, 
you know, and I heard the, I heard it, I was like, oh shit, that shit hard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I think this was dope, man. Like I, I love that shit. I get, I big up everybody. Mm. I ain't no like, I ain't no hating ass nigga. I don't do, I don't do none of that. But are you filing like a claim on the YouTube video? Like, nah, we need, we need all that money. No, 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 no. Don't work like nah, that. Nah, the nah, label nah. probably do it. No, nah, the label you. be doing that yeah, shit. Yeah. The label be doing that shit. Cause somebody sent me, um, somebody sent me some IG. He was like, damn, OT, you bougie, huh? And because he, I guess he tried to post my uh, some something that I that I did or whatever, and the label removed, it and it was like, I'm like, man, I get the nigga that's doing that, right? I'm like they doing that, yeah. I ain't doing that. They got ownership. Yeah, it's always weird when uh, somebody disses somebody that you're cool with, though, because I'm I'm real cool with DJ Academics, but on that song when Chuck oh, Lizzie oh, said, I know one. every DJ but this pussy <laughs> academic, I was like, oh, that was hard. Oh no, that that stood out to me. Like, <laughs> yeah, you went in. That, that was a good one. I don't know. <laughs> um, shit. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, at, at, when when cut it blew back up. Like, do you just get back on the same fucking train that you were on, basically, of like hitting all those same clubs and doing all these same tour dates? And the- yeah, man, because 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 you know, like I ain't really have like support like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you have a label and everything like that, but I ain't really have the support like that. But then. You know, they'll kick in, you know what I mean, later or whatever. They'll kick in later, like after the song is just, you know, out of here or whatever. You know what I mean? Everybody kick in. So you just got to keep your grind, mm. you know. But now, like, with the platforms now, like, it's so much shit that you can do, man. There's so much different shit you can do. It's like, you know, so that's why, I, you know, I I give props to all the artists that's doing this shit, all the young dudes that's doing this shit right now, man. I, I take my head off. But you were independent when you made Coco. No, I wasn't. I was about to be. Oh, you know, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you. So what you happened. were on Atlantic at that time. Yeah, but okay. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I just did like a random um, deal with them. Um, I did a deal with them or whatever, and then um, supposedly I was. Well, I wasn't putting out no music, you know. And I was recording. I, ain't, I wasn't putting out no music, and they told me that they was gonna drop me. You know what I mean? In my um, boy. <laughs> That, that <laughs> if, they that, if they would have did that, if they would have did that, so they were supposed to, they were supposed to drop me because I wasn't putting out no music, and um, and then um, they were supposed to drop me and like, I was, I was, I was thinking it was gonna happen in like December. It was almost like, man, let me put out some music for they, they fucking end up dropping me out, and, that, and boom, November, Coco. Yeah. I said, oh, if I had waited one more fucking month. You would have made more money off it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I made so much money off that fucking song. But I, but I would have, oh my. But do, do you feel like Atlantic had much of a role in terms of making the song really no. blow up? They weren't supporting no. it like that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Or was it that they that just was that didn't song. need the support? That was that was that was that song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, it didn't need, it didn't need, it, the shit just... But that is kind of like what they're good for, labels in general, is that they're good for like if you have a song that's already popping off, they can get it more in more places yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, and see, and see, around that time, um, around that time, I was like, why can't they, you know, why can't it like uh, crack like top ten or something like that? I think this shit was like eleven. Mm. You know what I mean? I was like, why the fuck I can't crack the fucking top ten? Like, what? I'm like, I'm sick, but it's like. You know, then you have some radio people that work work there, or whatever. I won't say they don't do a good job, but they don't do a good job. Right. I mean, you it's know what I'm saying? Ra- commercial radio is like the most boring shit yeah. on earth. Yeah. So they like they like, no, we can't do. I'm like, okay, so basically, y'all ain't doing shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't crack this up. This shit is I, like, I did this shit by myself. Right. You didn't pay for the video. You didn't do none of it. You see what the video looked like. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey. Do you, have you consistently felt that way the whole way? Is that the label that wasn't really acting right in terms of your career? Uh, yeah, I'm always politically correct, but yeah, <laughs> I'm all you know what I'm saying. I'm always like, man, help a nigga, man. Right. I'm out here working. Like you see, they see, like everything that I do, I, they know I go hard. Like I'm, I'm one, I'm one of the artists that go out there and I work. Like I got to, because if you don't, like, this shit ain't promised for you, like. You know what I mean? I ain't about to be sleeping up on nobody freeway. Yeah. Does it ever feel weird though that like nowadays it feels like the labels are only trying to put effort into like young ass, colorful hair ass kids? No, you know what? Um, it's a hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's a hustle. And so what they what they see with the with the young kids, they like, all right, they popping, especially with the streaming shit. You know what I mean? Like 
just learning how to like turn this these streams into revenue is like the most craziest shit I've mm. ever seen. So they seeing all these young artists and they seeing them like pop off. They have great songs. They have you know they have their music and they have their following. They are already lit. So they feel like we ain't got to do nothing. Mm. We already don't really want to do nothing. <laughs> so now all we got to do is give you some money and then and we cool. Right. That's all they say. So it's a hustle, man. Mm. You can't knock nobody hustle. It's some bullshit, but it's a hustle. You always had that like hustler mentality for sure that when it comes to the music thing, like in the sense that I was listening to one interview you did where you were talking about you kind of sacrificed like doing a lot of like the album promo and stuff because you were just so focused on like, damn, I got all these opportunities to get checks from, yeah. from all these shows and yeah, shit. I'm just yeah. going to focus on doing that shit. Right, right, Do you right, ever feel right. like that sort of affected like your long-term it, career I, health? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. You know what I mean? But um, then again, man, it's like, man, you, I mean, you never, I mean, you never know. But me, it was all, it was all about like, you know what space you was in before this. Mm. You know what space you was in. You know what you had financially. You knew what you was doing. You knew all that. Man, get everything. I, let, me, let me grab everything I can. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a robbery, a bank robbery. You're like, man, let me get get what I could get. Because you were grinding for a long ass time without right. really seeing much movement, right? Right, right. So then, like when that shit happened, bro, I'm like, all this shit is on the table. Right. And you t- and I gotta go sit back and go record and go try to record an album and all and all this money on the table was like the most book ever. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Nah, I got to go get my money and make sure I'm good first. Then I can sit back and record and do whatever I want to do. Right. Yeah. Definitely. But it just it just happened that the songs was just real fucking big. Yeah. You you yeah. made enough like undeniably smash hits that it's like yeah. you know the, the people are forced to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Which was like pretty good. That's kind of a good position to be in, you know. Yeah. But but did you always like find? Did you always feel like you were that hit maker? Like that was just your natural state of being that you could just make fucking hit songs. Man, you know what, man? When you when you um when you coming up, man, and you when you know you're a bit like I already I, I knew like, man, I'm fucking lit, bro. I'm talented as fuck. Like I like I always thought that about myself, but I always thought my songs was good. Mm-hmm. I didn't think that they were hits. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no shit was just going to like travel around the world and I was going to be traveling around the world crazy and all that. I just knew that I was good, you know? So, but in this in this game, like, I guess, I guess okay is good and good is great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to come by records. Well, that's what a lot of people say. It's hard to come by records. For me, it's not. It's just all about having fun, man. You got to have fun with this. Everybody be overthinking. And I'm in a studio. I don't over. I don't overthink. If I don't, if I don't get nothing done, I don't get it done. What's your studio style though? Like, do you, do you need to be having fun when you're in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. I got my drinks, my drinks. I'm chilling. I'm, you know, what I mean, I'm drinking. I got my vibe, man. I got some of my homies. It's like it's like a part. It's really like a party, right? It's really like my session is really like a party. We drinking some some niggas smoking. We just chill. Like we chilling, having a good time. Cause this is what it was before we became artists, right? You get what I'm saying? It was just it was just us. It was just, you know what I mean? The homie said that sounded good. That shit sound good, huh? Yeah. It's a hit to everybody in the room. Yeah. So we it's it's just that same energy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Crazy. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you have like another one of those records in you right now or, or that has yeah, been I released? A, I have a lot of them. But they really? but they they ain't they ain't been released yet. Okay. But I have I have a lot of them. But now it's like, which is crazy because now I'm like arguing with myself you know i'll be in the studio i'm like i'm like should i let this go I'm like, nah but then if i let this go but this but this right here sound different but then if this sound different then i may have to go this route no nah, but if i drop this I'm just, but now i'm thinking to myself man i just gotta let every fucking thing go really i just gotta let everything go because you know like that's how i made uh like a a, a tape called rhythm and bricks because I was like, I don't want them to think that, you know, you have you have people that's listening to you and they get used to this sound. And then you bring this sound here and they like, hey, what the fuck you doing? You're getting us confused. We confused. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the whole time you're really creative. Right. So it's like, what the fuck do you do? Yeah. Do I be creative and 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 give them everything? Or do I or do I or do I just do what I do? And and stay in this box in this lane and you know 
do this with this audience. Yeah, that kind of makes me think of when I was interviewing Tory Lanez. Like he, he, we sort of had yeah. that conversation. Like he's yeah. really, really fucking really talented. talented. He yeah. can do a lot of different types of music. Yeah. As a result, sometimes it doesn't feel like the fans really know what kind of artist he is. You are exactly, you know? yeah. exactly. So that's the cold part. Mm. That's the cold part. You know, some people you like when it get. Oh, we know. Just like, oh, we know what to expect. Mm. So that's why you go there. That's why you have this audience. That's why we, we go here because we know we're going to listen to this. We go here because we're going to hear this. We go here because we're going to hear it. And then we go here, but we don't know what the hell we're going to hear. Right. And in your head, it's like you know that like you want to just show off your talent. Yeah, you want to yeah, show, yeah, look yeah. at all the shit I got. Right, look at right. what I can do. I can do this, this, and this. Right. But a lot of times the fans is like... Like without saying it, like nah, we really just want this. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. If we want yeah. a Chief Keef song, we're gonna go over to Chief Keef. But for now, we, we want you to do this. Like, yeah, whatever, yep, whatever you carved yep. out for yourself. It's a yep. weird thing, man. Yep, yep. That's it right there. But so is that is that sort of well? Are you still? Do you consider yourself to be in album mode? Are you still working on a project? Or? Um, yeah, I'm in album mode now. Okay, you know what I mean, album mode now. Like this is be my first album. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. So it'll be my first album. That shit is crazy. Just right. to even say it. Yeah, that's gonna be a fucking. Game changer. Yeah. Um, so what what is what is OT Genesis like the version of yourself that the people don't see, like what you're doing when you're alone by yourself, what your 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 private life is like, whatever. Like man. What, what, what what are you on? Man, I'm cool as shit, man. I'm chilling, I'm drinking my drink, I'm bowling. I bowl <laughs> my ass off. Really? Yeah, I'll be bowling, man. I'll be i I'm on Madden. You know what I mean? Anybody wanna see me in Madden? I'm on the Xbox One. I'm chilling. I'm playing mad. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm playing mad, man. I'm bowling. I'm having a good time, man. I'm like a cool ass dude, man. I'm I'm cool, like lit, man. Always with the fun and the jokes and party and shit. I'm like, like I'm high off life. I don't been through too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't been through too much. So the only thing I could do is enjoy my life. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Those are facts. Um. Okay. So what we got to look forward to, or what, what's what's your year all about? Uh, man, more music. More music for sure. I just gotta let off the clip. I can't, you know what I mean. I can't sit here and one shot them. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna keep, you know what I mean. I'm just gonna let the whole clip go. Um, more, uh, 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 I definitely got to do, you know, some features. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Get some features, especially from like the uh, the young talented artists. It's a lot of young dope dudes out here. You know what I'm saying. Anybody in particular you'd want to lock in with? Uh, shit, man. It's a lot of um. Let me see. Let me tell you right now. Uh, I think, I think Juice World is dope. You know what I'm saying? I think he's like, like as far as like creative. Mm. I think he's really dope. Um, Little emo kid. Yeah. What up, Juice? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, man. It's a, um, it's a whole lot of them. Cause sometimes I look at him or I'm on the gram. I'm like, damn, he dope as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, this is dope. But there's so many young kids coming up, bro. I can't even. It's like a new rapper every day. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> That's Weird crazy. To keep up with. That's crazy. And y'all keep up with all of it too. I'm try. <laughs> Damn. Damn, but they be dope, man. I don't I don't got nothing against it. You know, the kids that's coming up, man. I you supposed to, you know what I mean? I don't like I'm not the type of dude, you know, like you hear the the dudes uh, like older older cats be like, Oh yeah, that, that all the kids just did it. I'm like, man, let me tell you something. Whatever's going, whatever's going to help you and help your mama pay her bills or whatever. I don't know what you're going through. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're going. I've always been that dude. Like, if I, even if I don't like the material, I, n- I never like down talking much shit on them. Right. I don't know what you really, really going through. You know what I'm saying? We we'd be like, fuck it. Or well, I don't listen to this or whatever. Cool. But I I won't bash it. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, man, shit. I re- I respect your your hustle. Yeah, I feel like. You start to put yourself in a position where you're not going to be really relatable to the fans anymore once you start to have that attitude of like, ah, all the new shit sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Man, this shit, this shit, man, the world is turning. The world going to keep on turning. Shit going to keep on changing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can't stay like that. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, you know it's not going to get too far. Yeah, man, I'm cool on that. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Uh, anybody you want to thank or anything you want to shout out before we wrap this? Man, I want to shout y'all out, man, for, you know, giving me the platform, mm-hmm. to, you know, chop it up with y'all and, and giving, you know what I mean, and helping all the kids, you know what I mean, do all their shit, man. I I respect that. Just from, like, 
like on some man shit. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Nah, I was just excited to like actually get to have a conversation with you, like after years of knowing about you and shit. It's yeah, just like, that's why I like with this shit. It was just learning about people and getting to interact with them. Right, and shit, you know? right, right, yeah. right, right. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. So shit, man. Turn up, man. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> we go bowling sometime. That's right. I'm yeah, gonna hit yeah. you. My let's, girl, my girl's always trying to get me to go bowling. Man, let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, yo, OT Genesis, No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Appreciate you, man. Yeet. Thank you. I'm